everybody, Mrs. Roberts here. Um, so today's lesson for library is about brainstorming, figurative language, and finally poetry. So we're gonna put all of those things together and try to make a really cool um, poem at the end, all right? So here's what I'm gonna start with first. Um, I'm gonna read you a little poem. It's from this book called Hailstones and Halibut Bones. Uh, this book is written by Mary O'Neill and the illustrations are by Leonard Weisgard. This poem is about colors. The colors live between black and white in a land that we know best by sight. But knowing best isn't everything, for colors dance and colors sing, and colors laugh and colors cry, turn off the light and colors die. And they make you feel every feeling there is, from the grumpiest grump to the fizziest fizz. And you and you and I know well, each has a taste, each has a smell, and each has a wonderful story to tell. So today we are going to be working on a poem. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to think about uh, the term brainstorming because that's a great way to start out um, getting our brains working and getting some words together that we are going to use for our poem. So when you brainstorm, it's when you write down all the stuff that your brain knows about something. It can help to use your five senses. So we're gonna think about using our sense of smell, our sense of hearing, touch, taste, and seeing, all five of our senses. So that is gonna be your first part of this. And remember, all of these directions will be in the activity board um, so that you can look back on that um, when you're ready to start your poem. So a simile is a figure of speech. Now, Figures of speech, you probably remember learning about them. We had similes and metaphors, hyperbole, onomatopoeia, personification. So you'll also see this graphic in the end of the video, so you can refer to it. Um, and we may refer to it in other videos as well. So we're gonna talk about just this one, the simile one. And a simile is when we use the words like or as to compare two things. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to think of a color. All right. Now I have an example for you. So before the video is over, I'll show you what, how my poem turned out. But you're going to think of a color. And then on any piece of paper, I just want you to brainstorm all of the stuff that that color makes you think of. Try to use your five senses. Try to come up with like 10 things if you can. Maybe you'll come up with more. Um, but try to shoot for like 10 things. Then, um, so that's, that's the easy part. Next, you're going to put all of those words together in a poem. And that seems like it'd be really, really hard, but it's not because I'm going to give you directions on how to do it. Mine was super easy. Here's how it turned out. And I even used my marker to highlight it. It's only a few lines long. And we start with the first line being our color word and the word is. So I put yellow is. And at the end, my last line is the color word again. Okay, so we start and finish with the color word. And then we use our five senses. Now you can put these in any order that you choose. You can do the seeing one and then the touch one and then the taste one. You can put them however they sound great to you. Um, and that's all there is to it. So you're going to make each of these lines a simile. So let me read mine to you and then um, you can see how it sounds. And remember, this isn't a rhyming poem at all. It doesn't have to rhyme at all. Yellow is as tall as a sunflower, as sour as a lemon, sweet like fresh baked cookies, as loud as a roaring lion, smooth like a number two pencil, yellow. See, that's all there is to it. And then of course I signed my name because you should always sign all your hard work. Now, the other thing you can do with your hard work is if you would like to submit your poem, you can send it to me through email. All of that is included in the activity board so you know how to send me your poem. If you would like me to read your poem, please know that I will only read it if you give permission for me to read it, but you're gonna need to include your name, your school, and your grade so that we can give you proper credit. Please include first and last name, all right? And for the Biggest part of this, just have fun. You don't need special paper. You don't need special markers. You could draw a picture to go with it if you like, um, but just think about a color, 
uh, write your poem, use those similes, use our five senses, and that's all there is to it. Happy National Poetry Month, and I'll see you next time. <music>